All right, guys, so let's take a look at the contents. This is the box that I received in the mail from Holiday Styling. Inside of that was the air blower box. Now, this the air blower was a 380-watt, 110 volt blower. It's got a good bit of weight to it for a plastic blower, which is, is good in this case. Uh, intake here and output, air output right here. There's an on-off switch, a little red switch right here. Uh, and the reason that I say it's good is because this is actually a very thick plastic material. You want a little bit of weight so that it's not just going to fall over. Uh, but also if it was to get damaged or get hit by children running around the screen, maybe jumping over it, kicking it, hitting it with something, uh, it's going to be able to take a lot more abuse. Uh, so kudos to the company for using a, a better grade plastic uh, on their blowers. Uh, but also... Uh, the 600 double D material that the frame, the blow up frame is made out of, is also very, very nice. Um, much, much more durable than the parachute material that typically comes with these type of screens. Uh, the parachute material is very, very vulnerable uh, to getting gouged. Um, and, you know, a lot of times you can take a small hole and it'll still stay, but, you know, over time it's just going to continue to get bigger. Uh, I was looking for something much more durable, so. This is exactly what I was hoping for. And then the screen that comes with it is a white screen. It's just more of a jersey t-shirt type material, kind of thin, um, with the loop part of the Velcro on the back, right? The hook would be on here. Um, but this attaches from the back side of the frame. So, which is, is really nice because I always like to put my frames towards uh, the back of it, towards the wind. Uh, so that way, if I do have to mount, if, if we do have any uh, wind, say, above, say, 20 miles an hour or so that's going on outside, I can always latch it from the back, and it'll hold it in position very, very well. Um, so uh, the one thing I want to really stress about this screen, above other screens that I saw, uh, many of the other brands that I saw out there have more of like a uh, three latches down one side, four, five, or six across the top. Uh, and you latch the screen with a little Velcro latch. Um, and you can see there's little dips and warbles all in the screens. And that was really the, the primary thing I'm wanting to avoid. Uh, I set this up. So go ahead, spoiler alert. I've set it up already and took it back down before doing this review. But in the, the setup that I did, uh, the screen was extraordinarily flat. So that is exactly what you want out of a product like this. So kudos to the company for that. Now, once again, I'm not a fan of white screen, so we're gonna be putting our own proprietary black screen. Uh, I've got some material back there I'll make, and I'll do that video after the review. Uh, but for right now, I just wanna say that this is, so far I'm already impressed. Uh, it'll, along with these, these items, it also came with a one pager for instructions. It's about a six step process. Very simple, very, very simple. I can't find the pager right now, so uh, just tell you it's very, very simple. Uh, but on top of that, it comes with a patch kit, so if you were to get uh, any damage to uh, the frame, then you'll be able to patch it. And then, in addition, they add 15% off promo code for any party supplies and props that you may want from Holiday Styling. So, thank you very much. All right, so without further ado, let's take this bad boy outside and see what we got. Okay, guys, you see the sunny spot over here and the sunny spot right here behind me. Uh, we're not going to use either one of those spaces. We're going to do it right here in the shade because it's actually nice and cool here. And the sun's starting to get a little low on the horizon, uh, so we should be able to, you know, set this up pretty quickly here. But first, I've laid out the components. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take our screen away because we won't need it until last. You'll notice I've run my electrical drops. Um, two, actually, I'm going to need two outlets because I'm going to need one for the projector and one for the screen, the screen being back here, the projector up forward front of the house. So we're going to go ahead and take this out of the bag. Also in the bag was a small satchel that has some, some rope or twine. Uh, as well as stakes for staking the screen. We're not going to stake it for this video, but uh, we'll show you where the loops are. So now that we have this out of the bag, we're going to take our blower, set it probably a good eight feet behind it, and you'll see why in a second. We're just going to start rolling it out. I 
I'm going to center it. Let me get back a little bit so you can see it. more of what's going on. So I've got it rolled out from the bag. I'm going to pull it this way to center it some now. All right. So there we go. We're going to roll our arms out. Okay. If you look, this has a tubular piece that comes off the back. That is where you're going to connect your blower. You guys, if I happen to catch it on film, please forgive my ugly shoes. My wife hates these, but I love them. All right. So I believe we are ready. And if you look here, see, I've got the top of the frame and then the bottom frame, and there's my logo. So this is going to be the top bar, the bottom bar, that's my back bar, and where the blower will attach. All right, so essentially, we're just going to connect the blower. All right, there we go. So we've got it tied on now, and I just did a, a standard gift tie, um, bow tie, um, after putting the cuff of this over the lip of the plastic here. So just a tie down, that's all it is, very simple. Also at the same time, grabbed our cord and unrolled it from the blower so that we can plug it in. All right, so here's the other thing you wanna make sure of before, and I almost forgot myself, so this is a good little reminder. Here in the back, it's like a little trap door that Velcro's down. Okay, open, that's essentially what it looks like. And what you want to do is you want to zip this closed here. That's an air release. So that you can get all of the air out of the screen whenever it's time for it to go night-night. All right, we're now connected. And all that's left to do is to come turn our blower on. And let's time it. So now... All right, 28 seconds from floor to standing. Okay. And as I'd mentioned before, with the screen, the screen is going to attach here. So this is the hook part, and it'll attach from the back of the screen frame. All right, so I'm going to pause. We'll get our screen and a ladder. All right, guys, so because I video from my phone, religiously, <laughs> um, it's hard for me to do that and be able to put it up. But just to show you what I did is I got the ladder out, and I'm on the ladder. Literally, I just put it up in the corner and then grabbed a piece here, pulled it up, attached it, attached the Velcro screen. So I'm going to go ahead and attach across the screen. All right, so very quickly, you can see I got this up in the corner very easily. We're still dealing with a, a flat surface because the material stretches so well, even though in the um, Velcro up there, there's a couple of little bunches, um, it's still not distorting the screen, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there's the screen fully attached on the back. It literally just took seconds between me. It took longer for me to, to get the ladder back over there and lay it down than it really took for me to connect this up. Uh, and then whenever I put the ladder over, I just went through and just firmed up uh, some of the connections or attachments there for the Velcro. All right, so let's go around and take a look at the front of it. So here we are. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up, but I think you can see the trees back behind it. So that's great if you want to do rear projection. The only problem is, is that you would have to configure your projector pretty well 
to get it to where you wouldn't see the projector light source. Uh, there'd just be a big spot, a big beam back there in the back. Um, because there's it's a, it's a white screen. It's not going to cut cut that beam out whenever it's this semi-transparent, right? Um, so that would be the only negative I have. Now, I've seen this at night with front projection and rear projection. And the front projection is absolutely beautiful. Given the material and given the ease with which the screen can be attached, uh, it's a win-win for me. Uh, you know, the material is at least durable. I mean, it's not, this is not going to come close to and is not meant to come close to a high-end home cinema screen. Uh, but it does a very good job um, at night. And I'll finish that, the video, this video I'll show with some images a little later tonight um, so that you can see just how well it looks. Um, what I do like once again is that the fabric is very durable and they've considered a lot of things whenever you look at the connection points of taking some of the stress off of the seams. So very nice. I think it would be nice if there was a way to attach the screen before you blew it up. Um, I think you. You might could, but it, you would run the risk. If it gets caught, man, it's, it's just going to hold it down. You're going to be fighting it the whole way up. Um, so that maybe is just a recommendation. But, you know, this is, compared to many other screens, this is super, super, super easy, guys. All right, so now let's take a look at breaking the screen down. Um, let me go ahead and say this. Uh, you should go ahead and take the screen off before you drop this. I'm not going to for this video. Kids, do not try this at home. Uh, I'm doing this because I don't want to have to put the screen back on um, since I'm going to do some uh, videos of, or add a little video from uh, the projector tonight. So uh, let's just go over here. What we're going to do is we are going to switch our button off. You're going to notice it's going to start to drop really fast. And if needed, I just unzipped our hole and air is rushing out at me. So, take just a couple of seconds. And the air really starts to fall. So, obviously a lot of people are gonna have their way of doing this in the long run. You're gonna find what works best for you. For me, I just take the arms by the way, the staking mechanisms are here, the attachments, the loops, they're here at the top of each side. But I, I bring these over. Same thing on the other side, grab the loop, bring it over till I get it even across. Then I would detach the blower, fold that over the back, fold the back up to the front, so it's all laying right here. And the only thing you'll have out here are just pieces of the arm that's about yay big. Fold that in on the top of all of it and just roll it back up. Roll it up pretty tight and it'll fit right back into the bag. It doesn't have to be super tight, but it does help. The, the tighter that you roll it, the better it's gonna um, be able, to, or the easier it'll be to get it back into the bag that it came with. The starter's back up. And boom. And we're right back where we started.
All right, guys, so let's take a look at our pros and cons. So pros, we'll start with the pros. Uh, it's larger than I expected. It's approximately about 155 to 157 inches on the screen surface, which is nice considering it's a 16-footer, uh, but I really thought that I would lose a lot more of the screen to the frame, and so it, it is a big frame. It's a little over a foot across all the way around, uh, but it's still a very nice screen. Now, not as big as what I personally want to have here at home. Uh, I think this works great. I, you know, come on. Projection bigger is better, right? Uh, but for for the purposes of our uh, Parte Upstart for event surfaces, um, I intend to get a few of these. So I'm very happy, very pleased with it. Um, it offers front and rear projection. Uh, although the rear projection would require that you um, set your uh, projector, you would you would essentially have to place it in a strategic place and then probably use some some keystoning uh, maybe even some lens shift to get it to where you wouldn't see the projector source light uh, because it does show through pretty heavily from the front absolutely beautiful uh, with in certain parameters and we'll talk about that in the con um, the material itself is very durable as opposed to parachute or vinyl blow-up material you think your your pool toys that kind of vinyl and that's a lot of times what you run into um, sets up in approximately two minutes breaks down in approximately three it takes a little longer to roll it up than it does to unroll it and get it back into the bag but uh, those times I did it twice and just kind of timed just the the actual setup and the tear down uh, not carrying all the stuff out to the basketball court that kind of stuff so uh, but the time is very easy I mean you're you're talking five to ten minutes at most even if you've never done it before to get this thing set up uh, is active 3D ready, uh, not not passive, but if you have active 3D glasses and a 3D capable projector, uh, then it does a stellar job with active 3D. Uh, holds up extremely well in mild and moderate wind. Um, I think we clocked somewhere about 18 miles an hour uh, at a later part of the evening, and it it, it held in place phenomenally. Uh, so that was a big concern for me is that especially as I go bigger, you know, how is it going to stand up because we can get some pretty high wind gusts here from time to time. Uh, and that held up without even being tied down. Uh, it was just freestanding and held up very well in the wind. Uh, and then lastly, I'd say there's no lines in the in the fabric. A common thing, now I haven't seen this myself, but I, I've seen where they have uh, screens that are large and there are seams in them where they sew them to get two or three pieces together. Um, I haven't seen that more recently, uh, but I have read on a lot of the reviews that on some of the brands there are lines that are in the screen and they are visible, especially if you try any kind of rear projection. So this one is a solid piece of material, excuse me, <clears throat> and does very very well no no uh you know obstructions or anything like that no distractions in the screen or flaws in the screen to take away from the viewing experience so very very pleased there cons okay so here's here's the reality because it is a wide screen and because it is see-through um to some degree uh, you will have to wait till it's almost complete dark to get a quality image. And I say a quality image, some people may be okay with watching a washed out image in the earlier part of the evening. Um, but to me, it wasn't really uh, the full experience until it was almost completely dark. Um, the blower sound is a pretty much about standard. Um, any of these blowers, you're going to want to have, uh, even, even though it's behind the screen, you're going to want to have projectors, uh, enough uh, you know, sound wattage in your projector to be able to overcome that, or you're going to want to set up some external speakers, which, you know, my recommendation would be I would at least go to some attempt to set up some external speakers so that you do get that full experience, because while it may be a big image, if the sound's not there, uh, you know, it's not really a great image. It feels a little chintzy. All right, and then I think that covers so some notes and recommendations. I think from holiday styling, um, I would offer a package with additional screen and offer clear indication, or maybe just offer an, you know, a package with an additional screen that people can buy along with it so that they have a backup, they have a reserve. And I know that you offer you know, a 12 foot screen out there, but it's not really clear what screen or what frame that screen uh, 
attaches to. It, it, I didn't see any indication, and maybe I missed it, but I read through it twice, and I didn't see any indication as to this this screen marries with this frame. Uh, so that would be nice to have. Uh, it also would be great if there was a way that you could configure it so that you didn't require a ladder. I know for some people they would probably like to have this experience, but the ladder could you know, especially if you have anybody with disabilities, the latter could be a complication. So I would just throw that out there. But my final word, final word on holiday stylings, inflatable projection screen is I would buy. For the money, for $220, guys, this was a great buy. Um, great quality material. And some of the things that I've, I've, I've mentioned here as cons, Honestly, especially when it gets to the screen, uh, to be frank with you guys, this is stuff that you would experience with any of these that you would buy. Um, unless they have a vinyl screen, you might be able to rear project a little better. But, you know, most people, I think, are front projection enthusiasts. So, once again, final word, buy. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us at Parte AV, and we'll be glad to answer them. Take care.